So according to TSR, Carrie Hilson reveals she's planning to come back after hitting rock bottom in an emotion, emotional session with psychic Reginald Lewis. Carrie Hilson was not ready for the emotional meeting with psychic Reginald Lewis last month. He got in contact mm -hmm. with the singer grandmother who confirmed to him that she had been dealing with people who are taking advantage of her. That's one of the things I'm walking away from, she said. Now, for those who may be a bit confused as to what I mean, Reginald is a real-life psychic. He, um, he picks up from energy. And when I say that he got in contact with Carrie Hilson's grandmother, well, her, her grandma is dead. And um, he was feeling all of the spirits. I mean, it was the energy and everything. And so he kind of was talking to her through um, through that energy. So now, mind you, this reading took place in early December, not too long before Carrie Hilton broke up with Ricardo Lockett. The medium went on to say that Carrie's grandmother said that someone new will be coming into her life in 2018. So I guess we'll have to see about that. Next, Reginald told Carrie that in 2018, people are going to start to want her to come back and share her musical gift again. And with tears in her eyes, she replied, it's sort of a comeback because I've hit rock bottom a few times. I'm crawling back to walking in my purpose. The singer added, I think I, I, think I, have to get, I, think I had to give up music for a while. I stepped away. I thought it would be just a year. It's been six maybe. I realize now that I'm grateful for all those years because I had built myself back up last month. During the C4AC fashion show in Atlanta, Carrie told us not to blink because her new music was on the way. Maybe this psychic is on to something. Jean, do you know who psychic Reginald Lewis is? And what is your thoughts about him? Because if you do know, um, Reginald, when he went to go see Carrie Hilton, he was sent there unknowingly um, by Steve Harvey. And he was walking. Did you see the video first? No, I have not. So he was walking through the hallway, and he was like, um, he was like, I'm feeling the energy is definitely one, it's definitely a female, you know, women energy. And then he went inside the room, and Carrie Hilton was there. And it was, at first, I was just like, okay, so is he a real psychic? And so he started talking about, he was like, I'm feeling somebody who had like a stroke or a heart attack. Um, I feel like some type of blockage. And then he was, she, he was like, it's like an older woman. And then he was like, I'm feeling like it's your grandma. Did she have a blockage or a stroke? And she was like, yeah, she had a stroke. He was like, yeah. And he mentioned also some other type of feeling. And he was like, did she also have a heart attack? And Carrie Hilton was like, yes, yeah, she did. And then she, Carrie Hilton was, um, you know, looking at him like she was kind of in shock. And then he started talking about, he was like, yeah, I'm seeing cupcakes or something like that. And I'm not really sure. Like, is it her birthday coming up? And then Carrie Hilton was like, well, my birthday is tomorrow. And and she just started crying, and he was just like, well, you know, she wanted me to say happy birthday, and it was really weird. It was crazy. Like, you can tell that that shit was real, and I love people like that. Like, come read some energy to me. He was like, you a crazy bitch. Negative is all around you right now. I feel negative energy. <laughs> I don't know. I was listening to the, I was to the read earlier, and they talked about it on there, and like, thinking about it, it's like, okay, yeah, maybe, but at the same time, it's like, Carrie Hilson is someone that is very well known, and someone that you can easily Google. So it's just like, who's to say that he didn't know that she was going to be there? He could have researched yeah. her beforehand, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. to me, it's just like, you wasn't really saying anything that you could not look up yeah. on the internet. And, and yeah. you know, find out about like maybe if they would would make like um what is it like maybe if the person that's passed on would have maybe said something to speak directly to the person that only them and that person would have known then yeah but it's just like okay I'm sure you can look on the internet right now and find out that Carrie Hilson grandmother has passed mm -hmm. on and she died from a stroke mm -hmm. and I and I know you can look up her birthday so. <laughs> I don't know. I like, agree. I, believe, I agree. Like I, I do believe in like ghosts and spirits because I think about it all the time. Like sometimes I feel like my house is haunted. You know what I'm saying? Because I always hear noises in my attic, and um, like do you ever go up there? Hell no. 
Girl, I get up there since I've been living here two years, and I have not been up there once, and I'm not going to look up there. I don't give a damn. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. I don't give a damn. I really don't. Like, I really don't at all. Like, just don't come down here. You, you stay your ass up there. Don't come down here, honey, because then we won't have no issues. But, um,. <laughs> But, yeah, I'll be hearing, like, little noise and stuff, and then, like, I've looked out the side of my eye several times, and, like, before, like, I focused, I saw I saw something. And I'm just, like, that's never really happened to me. Like, of course, like, you see things and you're not really paying attention, but it's just, like, it's only been consistently here that that's happened. Like, I'll see, like, a shadow, or, and I'm just, like, oh, shit, you know, and it's nothing. So, I don't know. I just get, like, an eerie feeling. And I really want, I keep telling my mother to come bless the house, and I you know, I was gonna say, did you bless your house? You been there for two years? No. Did you bless the house? I gotta grab it back. No. Nope. Oh, John, get your shit together. Come on now. I know. You, it's very, you know how to bless the house. You don't. You do not need your mom. You know, all you need is some oil. Bless the oil. Seriously, you know, really, you and Chris hold hands together and pray. And then after you pray, you know, just for your safety, your well-being, your household, you know, anything that you want to pray for, you get that oil and you just start putting it different places on the house, your front door, your back door, your bedroom, all the rooms in the house, the, uh, the top, uh, you know, the attic, go in the attic one time, bless those four walls, take your ass back downstairs and keep it moving. And watch how much happier you be. Uh, or, or or you might wake up with a whole bunch of demons around the bed. I mean, <laughs> either or. Yeah. Why why did you say that? <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding with you. You yeah. my attic is a little creepy too. I've never been up there. It's like it's like it has like a little peak hole, it's kinda open a little bit. I look up there every once in a while, like has somebody uh been in and out the damn attic? But I don't care. You know, I'm not going up there, I never will. You know that is all, <laughs> but right. yeah, I, I love psychics. Um, you know my my stepbrother, he's like that. You know he he really is a psychic. Um, I found that he was really a psychic when I was telling him about something that happened to me, and I think I told you guys this uh, before. I definitely told Jen. Um, he had just completely. I had a dream one day. It was really creepy. It was a long time ago. I was staying at home with my mom. I probably was in middle school or or beginning of high school, and it was just a, a dream. It was a black chick, a little hair. She had real white teeth. Somebody literally tapped my cover, and I put the cover off for me. And somebody was just over my bed, all black. All you see was a black face and some beautiful sparkling white teeth like a cartoon you know and um and I told you know my brother just a little bit about it and he told me the whole damn dream that I had it was real crazy I was like how did you and I started like getting the goosebumps and all of that stuff and he was just telling me about it and he went in the room and he felt the spirits and stuff and he's like he's a weirdo like you know he keeps like a little stuff around his neck so spirits won't get to him and stuff like that so I'm just like okay <laughs> You know what I'm saying? My mom, she wasn't feeling that shit. She was like, I don't want him bringing up, you know, that shit in my house. And it's just like, okay, well, I like this type of crazy shit, so, you know. Right. <laughs> Long, but I understand that shit. I don't want him bringing the shit to my house, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, um, yeah, uh, it's deep. So, anywho, though, gentle fellow, um, are you done with this? Is there anything else that you'd like to say more about Reginald Lewis or Carrie Hilson and her come her comeback this year? Well, on her comeback, I am excited for it. I was a fan of Carrie Hilson. Um, and it was that to see like how she kinda uh, like le- like left. You know, she got like, a lot of backlash from I guess her talking shit on the song about Beyonce and people still have not really like forgiven her on it. I do think it was something young, her not realizing that she wasn't shit yet. And I, and I feel like a lot of times these celebrities, they do think that because they are so used to people around them kissing their ass, they feel like overwhelmingly everybody feels that way and everyone knows who they are, and that's not the case. Um, and to me, it sounds like she's fell on some hard times, not, not yeah. maybe financially, but just like, you know, just, she might have been broken because you never know. She was all her life looking to be like this big star. And then the way you, like, you know, lead music, 
kind of sucks, but I was a fan of her music. You know, I thought she was a great songwriter. You know, I used to like her melodies. You know, I thought she was dope. So I am interested in this new album that she's supposed to be coming out with this year. So we will see. Are you ready see. for a Carrie Hilson new album? Or do you mm-hmm. not care? Long as it's good. Long as it's good. I really like the Don't Hate Me Because I'm Beautiful. I love that song. And I remember... Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's a silly. So, yeah, I remember um, when I... I remember being real big. <laughs> Y'all, this is a, a horrible story. I remember when I was, like, real, real super <laughs> big. And before I got my eyebrows and all that stuff done professionally... And I remember listening to that song and looking in the mirror like, nigga, you are not beautiful. Like, it's horrible, bro. And uh-huh. I know that's not funny. That's not funny. I know, I know. And I was just thinking like, I was just so big. Like, this is just horrible. Like, And then I remember like, I don't know, I was like 18 at the time, probably 18, 19. And then I remember like four, four or five years later, I got real, real small, just real little. And I remember the song came on again, and I was in the mirror like, a bitch, you fine as a motherfucker. Don't hate me. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> excited as hell. Like, <laughs> I was so feeling it. And now if I listen to the song nowadays, I'm just like, okay, turn this off, because this shit is old. Like, I'm not trying to hear it. You know, maybe every once in every couple of years, you know, you might be like, oh, right. okay, don't hate me. But, like, that's not something I want to hear on, like, my Pandora or my Apple, you know music so all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and move it along to the next topic 